The Story of the Peacock and the Nightingale. It was a beautiful morning after a few days of heavy rain. The sun played on the trees and the wind caressed the branches and leaves. Feeling extremely excited, I stepped out onto the leaf carpet and danced a beautiful song. The squirrels, rabbits, deer, all complimented me. So excited, the peacock immediately sang, eyes closed as the melody reached its climax. Suddenly the peacock heard a cough and cleared his throat, opened his eyes and saw the bear. Uncle said, I was sleeping but you startled me awake. I think you should just dance, peacock. The squirrel went into the cave when the peacock started singing and now he popped his head out and said, Yes, I just like to see you dancing, but you have to have a voice like that when you sing. Be quiet, it looks like she's singing. Indeed, the nightingale just sang. The singing was melodious and moving, and all the animals listened. After quietly enjoying the nightingale's wonderful song, the bear, squirrel and other animals all clapped their hands. Suddenly, the peacock cried bitterly. Why does the nightingale have such a beautiful voice that everyone admires, and why is my voice so terrible that no one wants to hear it? Oh, how unfortunate I am! Just then, the Lord of all creatures appeared. He asked the peacock. Peacock, does the nightingale dance as beautifully as you? The peacock replied, Number. The Lord smiled. There, I have given each species its own ability. Peacocks dance beautifully, nightingales sing beautifully, eagles have strength. You should be happy with what you have rather than cry for what you don't have. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.